Circle time makes learning fun. Circle time makes learning fun. Circle time makes learning fun. Come sing and dance everyone now. Good morning. How are you? How are you, friends? My name's Miss Monica. What's your name? Oh, well, I'm so happy you came to Crab Wednesday today. Oh, did you hear that? Listen, listen. Put on your listening ears. I think I hear our good morning train coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Very special day. Today is a day we create. It's a craft day. Oh, but I wonder, what day is it today? What day? Hmm, is it Monday? Tuesday? Oh, I have an idea. How about we sing the days of the week? Will you help me sing? Yay! Wonderful! Okay, everyone, remember, with the days of the week song, you can clap your hands, you can snap your fingers, or you can just sing, whatever you choose. Get ready, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> There's Sunday. Friends, are you ready to find out what we're going to make today? Ooh, I can't wait to show you. Well, we are celebrating a very fun holiday, Halloween. So we're going to make a Halloween special craft. Are you ready? Okay, we have to head over to our art area first. Here we go. Come on, everyone. Let's go. 
We're here. Okay, everyone, we are in our art area, so it's time for us to create. Would you like to find out what we're making today? Oh, wonderful. Okay, on the count of three, I'm going to share with you what we're making. Are you ready? Help me count. One, two, three. We're painting pumpkins today. Yes, look at these cute little pumpkins. We're painting many pumpkins. If you have many ones, these little tiny ones, or you can even use a larger pumpkin. Yes, so today we're painting and decorating pumpkins. This is going to be so exciting. Are you ready? Wonderful, okay, let me show you exactly what we need. First, I'm going to put this down here. Whoa, that pumpkin was a little heavy and I'm going to move my pointer to the side because I don't need the pointer while I'm creating. And look at this, I already have my apron on, so I'm ready for some painting. Now, I'm going to show you the materials you need in case you'd like to join in all the fun. Okay, here we go on the count of three, I'm going to show you what materials we need. Are you ready? Okay, let's move those to the side. One, two, three. Here it is. Everything we need to paint our pumpkins. Okay, so I'm going to put my tray down. I have everything on here that I need and we can get started. But first, let's go over all of the things that I have right here in the tray. So I have paint. I'm going to be using paint. Now adults, I use acrylic paint. Whoops, I already got some on my finger, but that's okay. I have a paper towel to clean my fingers. <laughs> paper towel or a towel or a wet nap, that is definitely necessary. So I have some different color paints here. I like to use acrylic paint. I find that this works the best when painting the pumpkins. Uh, you do have to wait for it to dry if you wanna add anything else like markers. So I also use markers when I'm drawing like the face, if I wanna add different faces, maybe the eyes, if I don't want to paint the face on, I can also draw the paint on with my markers. But you will have to wait for paint to dry in order to do that, okay? And I even have some scraps of paper or some strips of paper here because I use strips of paper just in case I want to add anything fun to the pumpkin, like some hair. Look at this pumpkin here. I added hair to my pumpkin and I just use strips of paper. Okay, so that's why I have my strips of paper and you really just can just rip them into little pieces. It's up to you. But you can also use a scissor if you want to cut them. So that's an option and you can use anything you have. You can even use glitter. If you have glitter, any decorations or extra accessories that you have or materials that you have to decorate, pom-poms, anything, you can use it, okay? So you need to decide which pumpkin size you'd like to use. I'm going to use mini pumpkins, and then I'll also use this big one too, okay? I'll use this big one as well. But I really love to use the mini ones, but with the big one, I'll show you what else you can do with that, okay? Last but certainly not least, you need paint brushes. I have two different sizes. This size is a little bit larger and I have this really, really, really skinny one because this skinny one allows me to draw the face, um, like the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and I use that to take the different colors that I like and paint it right on. And it helps me to be more precise, okay? So it makes it a little easier. And the big one, the big paintbrush, I like to use to paint the entire pumpkin. Okay, now if you're going to be using different colors and changing between colors, you can even have several paintbrushes. So you can have one for each color or something else you can use. You can just have a cup of water, okay? Like this one I have in here cleaning and just cleaning it off because I was using it for something else. So just have a cup of water nearby if you want to, if you want to clean off your paintbrush, okay? All right, everyone, who's ready to start painting? Okay, so I'm going to start with the small mini pumpkins, the small pumpkins. And if you, if you looked, you saw that I had two different colors. I have an orange one and I have the white pumpkins. I like using both. And I really, really like using the white ones because I find they're a little easier to paint and to really keep the color or make certain colors really vibrant. Um, and the orange, it takes a little more paint to cover, to get really good coverage, okay? So 
Make sure you're asking someone at home for help or in school for help so that way you have all of the materials you need. And then you're ready to get started. Okay, everyone, I'm going to start with this little guy here. I won't paint all of them, but I'll show you different ways that you can use your paint and all of your different materials to make this really fun. Now, let me show you some more before we start. Let me show you some of the different pumpkins I already painted. So I did polka dots for this one. I made a little face with some construction paper here. And this pumpkin, I made stripes, pink and green stripes. Oh, and look at this pumpkin. He has a little face here. He's so cute with rosy cheeks. And then I did another polka dot pumpkin, another polka dot pumpkin. I like the polka dot pumpkins. Those are so much fun. Okay, and these are really great if you have a child who's just starting to paint. So that way you can just take, they could take the paintbrush, dip it in a color and poke a dot, poke a dot, tap, tap, tap. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. And then of course they can just have a ball, have fun making it any, anything they want, creating anything they want, painting with all the different colors. <laughs> or you can have them do the dot, dot, they can do stripes. Lots of different options when it comes to painting the pumpkins, and this is their creation. This is your creation, children, so you really get to make it what you want it to be, okay? All right, everyone, I'm going to start with this pumpkin. So I'm going to move everything else off of my tray that I don't need right now, okay? So I'm going to move all of these markers. I don't need them yet. And I'm not sure, will I use, I'm not going to use my scrap paper yet. I'll wait to use that. But when I'm ready, I'll bring it back. So this is what I'm using first, okay? Push my pumpkins up there and I have my little cup of water if I need. Okay, everyone. With this pumpkin, I'm going to start with dots. I'm going to use this pumpkin and create dot, 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 dot. It's like confetti, confetti pumpkin. It's a party pumpkin. We're going to have fun with lots of different colors, okay? Are you ready? Now another painting hack that I use, I just use a piece of a cardboard and I put the paint there. And this cardboard is great because after I take a color, I can wipe it off and then take another and another when I'm doing this confetti pumpkin with lots of colors. Hmm, let's see, what colors will I use for this one? If you'd like to try confetti pumpkin, the party pumpkin I call it, with lots of dots, 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 you can do the same too. Okay, get your pumpkin ready, get your paintbrush ready, and let's decide what colors are we going to start with. Hmm, I think, friends, I'm going to start with some white. Some white, I think I'll use white, blue, maybe green. Let's start with white. So I'm just going to dip it inside, and then I get to have a little fun. And dot, 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 dot. I can hold the top of my pumpkin if this, the stem is there. And if you have a longer stem, it's easy to hold and turn or you can just turn it around. Now, when you're doing this, your hands may get dirty, so just have a wet nap, paper towel, or anything close by. Dot, 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 dot. Look at this, dot, dot, so much fun. Dot, 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 and so easy to do. Dot, 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 dot. Ooh, let's use a little yellow. So I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit on my cardboard. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow, and dot, 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 Here we go, dot, dot, dot. You could do lots and lots of dots. And dot, dot, dot. This is the party pumpkin, confetti time. Dot, 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 Ooh, do, dot, dot, dot. It's a party. It's a party pumpkin, okay? And I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. Um, now I'm going to choose a different color. How about, ooh, I don't know, let's see. Maybe I'll use a little, should I use pink or purple? How about blue? Dot, 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 dot. Have fun, dot, dot, dot. And if you wanna mix your colors, of course you can do that too. Dot, 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, there it is. Look at that confetti pumpkin. Should I add another color, friends? What do you think? I think I may leave it just like that. Ooh, and don't forget there's room at the bottom too to add some more colors down here. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little more white. Do, 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 do. 
Ooh, and I'm going to go on top, take a little bit of white and go on top of some of the colors. Just gives it a little bit of a mixture, mixing the colors a little bit. Look at that. Ooh, so cute. Okay, and that's my dot dot. So you can go around, you can mix the colors a little bit. Hey, look at that pumpkin. I think this one is done. I'm going to move that pumpkin up front and I'm just going to wipe this off just a little bit, probably put it in the water, and I'm going to choose my next pumpkin. So next up, I'm going to use this orange pumpkin. And so for my orange pumpkin, I think I would like to create different color stripes, maybe like a rainbow pumpkin going around. I'm going to use my larger paintbrush for this, and because it requires more paint, so that's why I'm going to use the larger one, I'm going to start with some pink. I'll take a lot of pink. And of course, if I ever need some more paint, I just add more paint. So let's see. Now, if you look at the pumpkin, it has lines. All of the pumpkins have lines going all the way around. And those little lines, they kind of create sections. So I'm going to paint this section. It reminds me of a triangle shape. I'm going to paint this section of my pumpkin holding my stem. It's really great if you can choose pumpkins that have a long enough stem, so that way it's easy for you to hold and it's easy for children to hold, okay? So if you can't, of course, you'll have to hold any part of the pumpkin that you can. So I like to just take the pink and add it to whatever I want on the pumpkin. So whichever sections, I think I'll add a little pink here because once I'm done, I'm going to switch colors, so. I'm going to switch colors, so I'm going to put the pink all in all of the places that I like it. So I think that's good right there. And I'm gonna brush that off a little bit. Put it in the water, clean it off. And I have to squeeze out this next one that I'm going to use. Okay, I'm switching paintbrushes because I'm going to switch colors now. I think I would like to use do 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 <gasps> yellow. I wonder if I can use yellow because the pumpkin is orange. I wonder if the yellow will show. Oh, it's showing, look at that, friends. It's mixing a little bit, but that's okay. Yellow, ooh, so pretty. So I'm coloring this one, this painting, excuse me, I'm painting this one, different colors. This is going to be my rainbow pumpkin. Come on, rainbow pumpkin. This is going to be the rainbow pumpkin. Add some yellow. Okay, remember your fingers, your hands will get a little messy, but that's okay. You can always wash them when you're finished or even wipe them with a rag, wet nap, paper towel, whatever you have. Okay, Let's see if I could get a little bit more of this yellow. And we'll put it over here. I may have to add some more yellow paint because I really like this yellow. I really like this yellow, everyone. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to get some more yellow paint. So again, I use acrylic paint. So this is my acrylic paint. Added some more yellow. Oh, look at my rainbow pumpkin. So we're gonna get yellow here. And then we'll have to decide what is going to be my third color. That means I'm going to use three different colors. Ooh, look at this. Rainbow pumpkin, rainbow pumpkin. A little more yellow, and I think we're good. It mixed a little bit with the pink, but that is okay. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you see, you have to, as it dries, sometimes you'll see that you need to add a little more paint, right? Because this is the orange pumpkin. And so we wanna make sure we're covering all of the orange, unless you want some of the orange to show. You can do that too, since it's a rainbow pumpkin. Now I think the last color that I will add, oh, ooh, let me see, I'm going to add a bluish color, but I'm going to mix colors. I'm going to make a blue color using the white and blue. I mixed a little blue in there, let's get some more. So I'm going to make like a light blue. I'm mixing colors here on my cardboard. How's that? I think I need a little more blue. Let's make it a little darker. Ooh, all right. So now I'm going to use that blue. That's going to be my last color. Oopsie, okay. 
and do some mixing a little bit, but that is quite all right. There it is. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's a little blue here. Look at my rainbow pumpkin. Look, everyone. It's a rainbow. And of course, some children are just going to take the colors. It all depends on what age they are, what developmental level they're at. Really depends on where they are with their crafting and their ability to hold the paintbrush and paint. So it's okay if they're mixing colors and just painting all over. That is quite all right. Okay. Oh, look at this rainbow pumpkin. I think my rainbow pumpkin is finished. Whoa! Now I have my rainbow pumpkin, my confetti pumpkin. Now I'd like to add a face to a pumpkin. So how about we take the big, 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 big pumpkin. I'm going to put this over here to dry. Okay, we'll put him over there to dry. Woof. And I'm going to put this big pumpkin here. Ready for my big pumpkin. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to paint this entire pumpkin. What I decided I'm going to do with this pumpkin is create a face. So I will still use my paint and I will create a face on the front of the pumpkin and maybe we can even do it on the back. But for today, I'm going to paint a face on the front of the pumpkin. Now, you can always draw with pencil marker first and then you can paint coloring in with the paint. So you paint in all the color. That's up to you. So I'll show you how you can do that. First, I'll use my blue marker and I'm going to draw some eyes. Now I'm going to try to draw it so you can see it. Now my pumpkin here, he has a lot of dirt on him. So I'm gonna use maybe this side, okay? And we may have to paint him a little bit. Hmm, so if I draw an eye here, how about this? I'm going to draw the eye and I'm gonna turn it to you all. I need to see it a little bit more. How about here? Draw my eye. Hello. And I'm going to draw an eye over here. Draw my eye. This is going to be another silly face pumpkin, just like we made in our other Craft Wednesday special. We made a silly face pumpkin. <laughs> this is a silly face pumpkin. So I'm using markers and I'm going to use the paint as well. Okay. So here's my eyes. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna give you a little bit of eyelashes like that. Okay, doot, doot. <laughs> so here are my eyes so far. Now I'm going to use the paint. I'm going to use the paint to make the mouth. I think I'll make the mouth here, okay? I'm actually going to use the small paintbrush for the mouth, and I'm going to use this color here. So we're going to make a mouth and it's going to go right here. Smiley face here. Ooh. I'm gonna add a little more. Ooh. See that? Now you can see it from this side. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna stick his tongue out a little bit. Bloop. Silly, silly pumpkin. This is a silly face pumpkin. Look at that. Okay, his mouth is done, or her mouth is done. I think this is a girl. Her mouth is done. Uh, I think I'm going to add some rosy cheeks, some rosy cheeks on the side. So I'm gonna get a little more. I'm going to still use my small paintbrush, and I have to turn it so I can see. I'm gonna put some rosy cheeks on this side, rosy cheeks here, add a little more. And I'm going to put some rosy cheeks on this side. Now, you can use anything or add anything, I should say, you can add anything you'd like, but you can use the marker or the paint to add all of these different faces to your pumpkins. So see, you don't even have to paint the entire pumpkin, you can use the paint to just paint a face. Ooh, look at my pumpkin's face so far. <laughs> so I'm cleaning my paintbrush because now I'm gonna add the nose and I think I'd, I'd like to use a different color for the nose, okay? Let's put a green nose. Put a green nose. So here's some green. I'm going to take some green and let's see, where can we put the nose? I have to turn my pumpkin up a little. How about right here? Ooh. A little more green, a little more. Do, 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 do. A green nose. <laughs> How's that? So now I have a nose. I have rosy cheeks. Hi, Mr. Pumpkin. I want to make it a little more 
around. Let's add some more paint. We'll just tap, 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 tap. So again, you're going to get a pumpkin that looks so, it may look different from mine, but your pumpkin is going to look how you want it to look. And remember, families, teachers, depending on the age of the child, where they're at, some children will just use lots and lots of colors and it will be just a mix of colors. Some will be very meticulous and precise and it all depends on where they're at. But the best thing is to allow them to have fun, allow them to create. And another great thing that pumpkins are great for, they're great for washing. Putting them in a big bucket of soapy water, get some sponges, get some little brushes, and let the children wash, wash, wash the pumpkins. That is so much fun. They can paint them if you use paint that just washes off easily. Sometimes the acrylic paint does wash off if you wash it quickly. Um, but you could also use like washable paint. Let them paint the paintbrush, paint with the paintbrush, and then wash it off and then do it all over again. That can be a lot of fun with pumpkins as well, okay? So have fun with these pumpkins. Look at that face. <laughs> I think I'm going to add some hair to the top. I'm not going to use the construction paper, just some more paint, but let's see what color hair. I think we're going to put, uh, should we put some green hair? Because he has a green nose. Let's add some green hair to the top. It's gonna give you some hair at the top. Yep, just like this. Like little strands of hair at the top. <laughs> so fun. Have fun with these pumpkins. Now, I really love using the skinny paintbrush because again, you can control and the children really can control more of what they do with this tiny one. But for some hands, it may be a little difficult to grasp and hold really tight. So you use what is easiest for them, but give them some options. And it's also a great time to see what they can do and what they're comfortable using. So have a lot of different options available and you can see what they're able to do. Oh, look at this. I added some hair to my pumpkin. <laughs> Should we make it a little longer? Let's see. Oh yes, let's add some more. Make it a little longer here. Add some more here. Just a little bit here. And a little bit here. And a little bit here. And a little bit there. And a little bit there. This pumpkin has lots of hair. <laughs> All right. Okay, little pumpkin, you are too cute. Let me just give you some little freckles here. Do, 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 And some freckles here. Do, 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 I think my pumpkin is complete. Jeez. <laughs> so now you are able to see how you can make a rainbow pumpkin. Look at that. <gasps> a confetti pumpkin, like the party pumpkin, and use mini pumpkins. Or remember, you can use a larger pumpkin and just make a face. But if you'd like to paint the whole thing first, you can do that too. Remember, markers are great to use directly on the pumpkin or you have to wait for paint to dry and then use the markers. So here are my pumpkins. I hope, I hope you enjoy this craft. I hope you have fun decorating your pumpkin. Let me see if I can hold this one in my hand. Yeah, I think I can. Hold it up, come on, come on rainbow pumpkin. There it is. Oh, I hope you have fun with this craft. Share, share, share your pumpkin faces rainbow pumpkins or your just fun paintings, <laughs> your fun, colorful pumpkins, whatever you create, share, share, share. Again, they don't have to be perfect. You want your child to have fun. You want children to have fun. You want them to be able to explore, use different materials, and don't forget about washing pumpkins too. That's a fun sensory activity as well. So just put them in a bucket of water and soap and they will go to town and have a blast, I promise. <laughs> Well, let me not promise, but you know, it's fun. Um, but thank you. Thank you again. Thank you for coming to Craft Wednesday, another Halloween special. Share, share, share. Share with me on Instagram at Circle Time with Miss Monica and at Monica J. Sutton. I'll see you all again very, very soon for another craft special and for Circle Time. See you soon, everyone. Bye. Circle 
Circle time makes learning fun. Circle time makes learning fun. Circle time makes learning fun. Come sing and dance everyone now.